at 7 o'clock. Yes. <clears throat> okay, good evening, everyone. We'll have begin our meeting with the Pledge of Allegiance to the Flag. Pledge of Allegiance to the Flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, I'm going to need a motion to approve the operating statements for October 19th, 2015 work session and the council meeting meetings and the Quantum's financial report. I make a motion that we approve the operating statements, October 19, 2015 work session minutes, September 28, 2015 council meeting minutes, and Quantum's financial statement for September 2015. I'll second it. Okay, we have it on uh, uh, second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed, no opposed, so be it. Okay, the mayor's report. Uh, Perry is not here tonight. He is at, in, at the MML convention or at the meetings in uh, Cambridge. So uh, he has left me nothing to report on. So we'll move right on to the uh, attorney's report. John? Okay, I have uh, two things to report on. The first is the uh, the discussions we've had with the county about the county doing stormwater management review for the town, same as they're now doing the floodplain review. Uh, and this is something that, that, that has been sort of a loose end for eight or 10 years. There hasn't been much stormwater review uh, since Jackson Ridge was reviewed and then you know, went on hold for all these years. Uh, at that time, the county no longer wanted to review uh, town projects unless the town adopted the county law as its own law, which the town wasn't comfortable doing for all the reasons we've talked about on the floodplain, and that is to, to retain control and decision-making authority over stormwater management in the town. Um, there was an arrangement that was reached on Jackson Ridge because uh, the Jackson Ridge review was already in pro well in progress. Um, so the county agreed to continue on to, to, to approve the final plan with the understanding that that was going to be the limit of the county's review. Uh, well, of course, fast forward till now, uh, you know, a different administration, I guess a different approach, and the county uh, was willing to do the floodplain review for the town. So we thought that was a good opportunity to reopen the discussion about the stormwater management and the feedback I have back through the county attorney's office uh, and the Bureau of Resource Management is that they're willing to do a similar arrangement for stormwater management, which is also something that the Planning Commission has been hoping for and, and I guess waiting for the right opportunity. So now seemed to be the right time because we had you know, recently been down that road with the uh, <coughs> floodplain ordinance. This does not require a change in the law like the, the floodplain ordeal that went you know, over a long period of time. It, it would just um, entail a, an agreement uh, that would be like the joint resolution that you all approved for the floodplain uh, administration. So again, it would be the county's machinery to run the town ordinance, which is, which is uh, why I think uh, Chairman Tom Long and Ned Cumin and, and all of us that have been sort of mm -hmm. watching and waiting uh, are, are pleased that the county is willing to do this now. So um, at some point, uh, I guess there are two things I ought to mention. Uh, the town law adopts the county law almost word for word, except where it says county, it now means town and within Union Bridge uh, for decision making purposes. Also, the town adopted a variation that would allow it to give variances or waivers uh, relating to downstream easements from where storm uh, ponds or dams are built. Uh, so in the appropriate setting, the town would be allowed to grant that waiver where under the county ordinance there's no flexibility 
uh, you're required to get an easement from every downstream uh, property owner no matter what. And, uh, you know, in many instances that's going to be required anyway, but the town, uh, this was going back about 10 years ago, wanted to require or uh, retain the ability to grant that type of easement. So uh, the county just wanted to make it, and I'm reading from the, uh, the email that I got from the county attorney's office, they wanted to be clear that they would, would require downstream easements unless the town formally granted a waiver. So they wanted that to be formal, which is fine because I, I think it's implied under our law anyway that there would be a process to, to reach that conclusion. And they also point out that under the NPDES um, discharge permit that waivers have to be reported, uh, I assume it is to MDE on an annual basis and so we would have to give that information to the to the county to do the reporting and this waiver is so such a rare thing if it happens once every you know 10 years so that there's the reporting requirement is you know next to nothing and if there is a waiver granted the county's going to know about it because they're doing the administration to begin with so i didn't see that as as a problem so in any event, I'm, I'm working on that. I'm not really asking council to do anything yet. Uh, when I, we have an agreement uh, in draft form, then we'll circulate that to council, but it, and also probably to the planning commission. Uh, but this all seems to be moving in the direction we had hoped over the years. So uh, any questions about that? Okay. And then uh, on the cell tower negotiations, I can only report that Mr. Kruth, our contact person who works for the agency that's representing uh, American Tower, uh, only got back to me today. And I, I didn't want to give him any type of counter offer in writing because I wanted him to understand the history that led to the, the town's feeling that perhaps an adjustment back up to the 25% sharing would be appropriate. And, and there, there is a history to that that you know, he would not have been aware of. So I did talk to him at length about that. He understands it. Again, he's just the agent, so he can't approve it. But his reception was that, you know, I, we, I understand where the town's coming from, and the 15% uh, sharing was arrived at at a time when the tower owner was struggling and now the tower is a profitable you know, operation. So he said, I, I really wouldn't hesitate to present that to the American Tower, which is what you know, he will do. Uh, he said you know, they could come back and, and put a value on that and attempt to offset all or some of that against the $30,000 you know, one-time uh, extension fee. But uh, he was willing to present it uh, you know, he didn't try to discourage it. So I think they want to get this done. And uh, he said it certainly makes sense. It had, it's tied to the history of the yeah. tower. So uh, I mean, assuming that's, you know, and I've, I've got the message from council that that's what we want to right. do. So I'll yeah. give him, right. you know, unless there's some other thought, I'll give him a email or a letter that uh, puts that in writing. That'll give him something to present back to American Tower. We'll go from that's there. That's great. That's good. That's really good. Okay. All right. Okay. That is all I have. All you have? Okay. <clears throat> all right. Jarrett uh, is not here tonight, so we don't have any update on our grant status. So, wow. I don't want to set a record here, but <laughs> <laughs> public comments. <clears throat> you got, got anything you want to say? Yeah. That storm water. Has anybody ever talked about making the bridge bigger down there in 75? Yeah, well, yeah, I fact <laughs> is we've talked about it for ever since I've been around. But uh, I understand from what Perry has told me that he has met with some of the state highway people and that they have stated that there isn't really anything wrong with that bridge as far as the structural part of it. Because I question about building this out here at Wolf Girls, putting, spending all that money for that and not improving the, or, you know, expanding the one over here at Little Pipe Creek. So that was the answer I got. That as far as the bridge, it's, it's a, a structural sound. 
It just for, traps water. Yeah. And yeah. it's only going to get, I mean, we're all in the same place. It's only going to get worse because as you have more building going on, we get more water here in Union Bridge because it runs down this way. So you would think they could have the foresight to see that, but it seems like they don't. Well, it don't really affect a lot of people. Three people were reading there. And Right. Yep. I mean, that's that. Yeah. Wasn't there some talk that uh, at some point of uh, Jackson Ranges development that that would be done now? My recollection is <clears throat> not that the bridge would be replaced, but the culverts oh, yeah. are planned under the Jackson Ridge plans, and I, I'm not an expert in the engineering of plans, but but that the culverts would be enlarged so that more water it would have the capacity to carry more water through. Not that that would handle every, you know, every storm that could come along, but it would Well, I mean, they don't it. want to just open that up because then that's going to make flooding much worse down on Lowe Street down there. It'll flood worse because instead of holding it there, it's going to let it all the way down <laughs> to the next bottleneck. I know that's a consideration too, but it seems to me there is a, like you said, a culvert pipe or something that was to be installed there at some point in Jackson Ridge development that would alleviate some of the, the additional flooding from Jackson Ridge. And there are plans here in the town that probably none of us could explain, but that have been reviewed by the engineers and approved as part of that final plan uh, for Jackson Ridge that that address that. And I, mm -hmm. you, we would need to, uh, you know, that would probably be a question better directed at the Planning Commission or maybe Ned Cumin, our planning consultant. Just so they don't forget about it, I somebody still. Well, there was a considerable amount of review. I, I do remember that. There was a, there was a, a floodplain study done. Uh, it's just been so long. I, uh, I'm not exactly sure what the outcome of that was, but there was a lot of discussion. Well, it looks to me like the creek could be dug out, though. Maybe it was filled up on both sides of the bridge. Can't get away, right? <laughs> I have to bring that up. Yeah, I know what you, I know. I hear you, Bill. I know what you're talking about. Believe me. Well, I, the other thing is the you know kind of ties into what we were talking about. There's a an engineer at the county. His name is Martin Covington. Martin came to at least two or maybe three of the planning commission meetings. And that was the topic of some discussion. And I believe he's the one that reviewed the plans. And uh, my guess is Martin, right off the top of his head, would remember how that got resolved. And, and would be able to direct you to the plans or explain it. He, he would, I'm sure, be willing to talk to you. You can call him at the, the same place. This Bureau of uh, Resource Management is where he is at the county office building. Probably walk in and see him or give him a call. Jim Byatt could be able to answer that question for you as well. Yep. We just had to sign a permit to have the, who was it? No, that's for the creek. To, to the, uh, yeah, for them to walk across our property. To get on our, to go to the creek, to study the stream and all that. Down there are there. watershed residents. Mm -hmm. That's who we just watershed residents. <laughs> okay, you guys got anything? Brett, do you have anything? No? Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, well, we'll go to the committee reports then. Ellen, you want to start? Sure. We had our MML Communications Committee meeting on the 21st um, in Annapolis. It was a very productive meeting. The paperwork will be coming out to the towns in December for the um, If I Were Mayor essay contest. And um, they will be going out to the schools. I forget when she did say that, but at the beginning of the year. Um, the big push is one of our uh, president's goals is to get more readers down for the essay contest. So we're asking that anybody who has a couple hours that can come down on March 
I think it's March 11th or 9th. I'll have to get you that information later. To help read the essays would be greatly appreciated. Doesn't have to be an elected official. Doesn't have to be a town you know, manager or anything like that. It can be a resident of the town or anybody. So um, that were, those were our main topics. That and the fact that November is Municipal Government Works Month. So um, I'll be working on poster to hang in the pharmacy, hopefully with Laura's help. And um, I don't know, did you talk to the school yet, whether they wanted to put a little in it? Okay. I just keep forgetting everything. You know what? Here. It's fine. If we put it in the pharmacy, more people will see it. Okay. So, um, and I have a solid waste advisory council meeting on, not this Thursday, but next Thursday. That's it. That's it. Okay. Thank you. All right. I'll give myself a note on that. Um, I'd like to thank Amy for the drug expo. She did a wonderful job, very informative and educational. Thank you for all of your hard work. Um, and I am aware about the light at the bowling alley. It is off and on random times, so I'm aware of it. I'm just keeping my eye on it. We're not going to call anyway, probably until we have more lights out. But if we have any complaints, I know it's doing it. Okay. <laughs> and that's all. Okay. Becker. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Got a couple of projects going up the center, uh, waiting to get the bids back on, on the one. Um, on the path, there where the tire is, we, the bank started to wash away, and I think Donnie's taking care of that, filling that in for us. So, and we put um, some lights on top of the new sign up there. And... Uh, Kenny's been doing some repair work in the playground for us, so he had some problems with the furnace the other day, so we had that be fixed, and uh, that's about it. Okay, thank you. Uh, speaking of the uh, trail, uh, Lehigh was kind enough to give us a couple loads of stone, and we took that up there and dumped it, and. I took a couple of bags of cement and, and uh, uh, spread that over there. So we just have to keep an eye on it and see what happens, you know. If we need more stone, it's, it will be available to us, I'm sure. So good deal. Okay. Uh, Kenny is working on some projects right now for us. Uh, uh, we've replaced the uh, windshield and our tractor and... We placed one back window and we have cut the back window, but we need some more clamps or brackets for it, so we're waiting on that, so we're getting our tractor back in pretty good shape here. <laughs> Since our last meeting, I have had one call about a water leak. Um, it was on the resident side. Mike did come out to check it out, though, and um, I just wanted to do a definite shout out to everybody that helped with the Drug Awareness Expo, to everybody that came, to all the vendors, to um, just anyone that, that helped. It was wonderful, amazing. <clears throat> when you do an event like that, I felt like I learned as much setting it up as I did that evening, sitting and listening to the speakers who were absolutely fabulous. And um, the health department, the sheriff's departments, Frederick and Carroll County, the fire department, how our community works together is wonderful. We are so blessed. Um, all the behind the scenes work, I know Dawn did a lot <laughs> and I really appreciate that. Um, Master Sergeant Deputy Brian Colusi was absolutely the right hand in all of that and he did wonderful work. Um, but I learned a lot, I hope everybody learned a lot and next year sounds like it's gonna be an annual event. So. <laughs> Thank you for all your help. Okay. All right. You folks got anything else? I make a motion we adjourn the meeting. I'll second it. Okay, it's over and done. <laughs> Those in favor? Aye. 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 <laughs>